So this is the video I promised you about my solar setup. I've got uh, 400 watt solar panels up on the roof um, that I got from Eco something or other. I got them off of Amazon. And uh, I've got them set up in two sets of series. And they are coming into the garage here. I don't know how well we can see that. And I got them tied into a, uh, a line that runs all the way across here into a 30 amp breaker. 30 amp breaker goes into my 40 amp uh, controller. And this is the EP Ever. I really like this thing. Strongly recommend you get the control panel for it. That's all programmable. And what this is telling me is solar in. Oh, come on, focus. Solar in, battery, and this is aux power out, which I am not using. So, from the solar panels to the controller, from the controller to a 50 amp breaker out. 50 amp breaker goes to the bottom of my um, battery cutoff because you can't go to the output of that in reverse flow. It, it really doesn't like it. To a breaker, that's 300 amp. It is way too big, but uh, I need to replace that with 100. But really, I, I'm protected in so many other areas, I'm not too worried about it. I got my battery cutoff switch. Then I've got my, uh, my binding posts to my battery bank. And my battery bank, I've got 480 amp hours at 24 volts. They all have 100 amp um, fuses on them. I've got heaters so that the lithium iron phosphates won't go below zero degrees. And I'm watching the temp or the uh, voltage of each battery. So if I need to top balance any of them, I can. These are my new battery trays. And they are steel rolling utility carts that I built. I took the handles off, took the wheels off, and put rubber insulator feet on there and you can't see them but they're hockey pucks and then I have those tied to ground the um, the shelves themselves are tied to ground and that goes to my ground rod outside of course you want fire protection smoke detector I got co2 over there I'll tell you about in a minute so out of the battery I come back, I got my Victron low power cutoff to protect the batteries. I've got another set of posts. This is a battery shunt. I just put a uh, little 3D printed cover over it so that I didn't ever have an open ground and an open positive. That goes to my, uh, my little monitor here up to my 24 volt to 12 volt converter to my 12 volt uh, power panel and I'll be putting more things on that power panel right now I've only got one thing to my 24 volt inverter 24 volt inverter gives me 110 volts which goes to my switch and right now my switch is on shore power it comes from the house we're going to turn the inverter on and let her ramp on up to 120 volts. We've got 26 in, 122 out. So now I can take this and switch over to battery power. So out of the inverter, up through here, into my sub panel. And I've got right now four breakers, and these are CFI breakers. Um, 
and I've got outlets on my south wall which we're looking at outlets on the north wall which are behind me I got indoor lights and I've got outdoor lights and my indoor lights are the things that were giving me so much glare problem before so that's power in and then over here this is my 12 volt diesel power Chinese heater I got a diesel tank I got my fancy lights that go all around so from the diesel tank go to the Chinese heater uh, the, the heater is powered by 12 volt and eventually I'll be putting that into the 12 volt power panel I just showed you I haven't gotten to that yet CO2 monitor since I'm burning gas that's my Wi-Fi switch for these lights got that tied into Google Home uh, this is 120 to 5 volt and I've got all of this in another video I'm not going to explain it all right now but that'll be coming out the only thing that's doing is power powering my Wi-Fi switch but uh, that's messy and I'll be getting rid of that this is 110 volt to 12 volt that's powering this switch which powers you now that I've got my 24 volt conversion uh, and my 12 volt power panel I'll be taking that out too this is the controller for the diesel heater more glare from the overhead lights and this is my Raspberry Pi I got a Pi cam on there and I got a whole five video series about this that's being powered by 12 volt which is coming out of here which will all be rewired over to here shortly and inside this this cable is the camera so what we got here is uh, 12 volts in goes to my 12 volt to 5 volt power converter and so 5 volts powers my Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi W2. And this is a switch. I have a uh, pin, GPI pin 4 is a switch uh, that I'm using an OctoPrint to turn uh, all of this on and off. Which you'll, you should watch the other videos to see that. And that's all this is. So then I got 12 volts on this side, 12 volts, or five volts on this side, 12 volts on this side. Five volts is powering my relay. 12 volts is on this end of the relay, which is giving power to this switch. This is a timer switch, um, timers.shop. You gotta check this guy out. He's got beautiful stuff. And I got this thing set to a 500 second, or five tenths of a second pulse. So, when uh, my Octoprint triggers my GPIO pin 4, it turns this thing on. It sends 12 volts to this, which gives a sec half second pulse to this solenoid, which is pressing against a little pad. And then this is the remote control to turn my heater on and off. And all of that is so I can watch my heater anywhere, whether I'm at work or at home, inside the house, or driving around in my car, which, you know, of course, by safety, don't do that. And anywhere in the world, I can monitor what this heater is doing, and if there's a problem, shut it off. That's all that is. There is an app to control this heater from your cell phone, but it's Bluetooth only. So at one point, I had another phone sitting in this cradle I built, and that's the, uh, uh, it's the USB-C cord to power that phone. And then I had that connected to any desk, and I was trying to control it from there and it just it was a big pain in the butt and it really wasn't working so I came up with this solution instead and that there folks is my big old fun wall o power 
So I got solar, I got the inverter, I got the switch to go shore power or inverter power to the power in my garage. Big old battery bank that is on nice steel racks and isolated and grounded and a diesel heater and oh the one thing I didn't show you is this is a 15 liter tank on the very very coldest days I would go through that tank in 24 hours so I got myself a fuel selector switch this is the fuel filter in that's the fuel pump that goes to this guy so I got a fuel selector switch so I can run off my main tank or I got a five gallon auxiliary tank and that's what I'm drawing off of right now and I can switch back and forth so five gallons is closer to uh, 30 liters than it is 15 so you got about two and a half gallons there you got five gallons here so I can flip over to this tank and go get my five gallon can refilled and this basically I 3D printed a, a cover for the cap and I got a shut off and a quick disconnect if needed and in here I got a bolt tied to the draw tube to keep it down in the bottom you know just as a just as a weight okay so that's it that's the whole shebang thanks for watching